Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the market report brought to you by Mike PR. Today is Tuesday, July 2nd. And just a couple of economic news releases scheduled for today. Today is probably going to be a little light as we are heading into the holiday week. And uh, Wall Street will probably be a little slower as most of the hedge fund guys will probably be going to their home, homes in Hamptons. So uh, the big economic news that everybody's kind of waiting for this week is going to be on action on Friday, which could be probably you'll see more of the after effect of it on Monday when the big boys come back to play. So, but today we got the CoreLogic home prices. Uh, this is for the month of May. So we had 11 11% growth uh, year over year for the month of April, and then for the month of May, it jumped up to 12.2. So as all the numbers we've been seeing, uh, homes are still continuing to grow uh, from all the major indexes that we kind of look at uh, for the uh, home prices. Then the other item to note is the factory orders for the month of May. So we had a 1% growth uh, for the month of April. And we figured that was going to improve to 1.9%, 1, 1. so a little bit more coming out, production coming out in May. And it jumped up to 2.1. So good numbers overall today. That home price is still going up, and in fact, the orders uh, increased for the month of May. Now we'll just jump over to the uh, headline news, and currently the stock market's up uh, based on the numbers there. As well as uh, here's a couple of signs to keep an eye on. Uh, Portugal, uh, you just went up primarily because the prime minister, or, or yeah, they're. Uh, they're uh, the Fed member uh, recently left uh, office, so they kind of had a little spook of the market. That's probably going to be a temporary glitch, but uh, the, the one to watch for is going to be Greece uh, because now they're, the EU, the Troika, are getting back into Greece and basically telling them you have to get your stuff situated, you know, do what you agreed upon. Uh, otherwise, the payments are going to be brought out to you. It could be so one lump sum, uh, which is what they're pulling for could be divided into three different payments over time, which could uh, hurt, hurt their cash flow situation. So uh, this could be another situation where, uh, you know, could spook the bo uh, spook investors and then put money back into bonds and help us with our interest rates. So keep an eye on Greece, again, uh, because that's what's been historically it's been happening over the last couple of years. Uh, one of the drawbacks for Greece, obviously, is uh, they've been six years in a recession they haven't gotten out of. So, uh, they still, uh, they're still not funk right now. All right, so let's take a look at what bonds are doing today. We have uh, kind of like, in a, as I mentioned, sideways pattern right now. We're kind of just down three basis points, so no, no change really in pricing today. Uh, but we're still above the 10-day moving average. We had, again, a little bit of a rally yesterday. We did touch the upper par portion of the um, uh, trend line there. Uh, we do have – I have. Uh, Looks like we are probably on our way at the 102 at some point, maybe even by this weekend, which could be nice. But uh, the main thing is uh, keep an eye open. Uh, and again, we got to wait want to see what Greece does. But the big numbers for this week will be the jobs numbers uh, coming out on Friday. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Uh, as of today, there's no change in interest rates so far this morning. The rates are same what we where we left off yesterday. All right, have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.